unspeakable joy hope like never before you came for us you are freedom love love unshakable love we shall overcome we will never give up we lift the shout we lift the shout everyone singing come on come on now we got a new song come on come on now a song It's true, we stand now, risen with you, you lifted us. You are our freedom, strong, strong, whatever may come. You have already won, we lift the shout. Oh, yeah. We lift the shout, everyone singing, come on, come on now. We got a new song, come on, come on now. The song of liberty, let the world I'm not a 
before you right now, and I just, I thank you for your presence here with us, God. I thank you for the victory that we have in you, Jesus. I thank you that even though we go through hard times, God, and we're all in a different place in our life, God, I thank you that we have, we can have joy because you give it to us, God. You took care of it a long time ago, and you love us so much, God, that you continue to pursue us and give us promise for tomorrow. So God, I just pray that we remember that and we just worship you with every fiber of our being right now. above 
You are hope, you 
Go ahead and have a seat, church. Thank you, Haley. Thank you, John, for just a kind of a sweet good morning to the Lord. And as we do that, kind of sets things right inside or gets it at least going in that direction. My name is Roger. I welcome you to our middle service on Sunday morning. We take this time to remember that those things we just uh, were singing, we were just declaring, they have a they have a legal backing. They have a backing that makes them more than just empty words, and the backing was the gift of Jesus Christ's life in, in place for my life, his goodness in place of my falling short of goodness, and I was reminded of something that happens in our family, and um, my wife has this red plate she came up with, and it says, you are special today, and so uh, the way she uses it is we have our, our uh, kids and grandkids over about once a week for dinner. And uh, so she'll put it in front of one person each week. Or if, we meet, if we're together more than once a week, then we get to pull it out twice. And uh, this last week, it was in front of our grandson. He's about three years old. And uh, he's graduated from, you know, the booster to the full-size chair. We don't even put a towel under it now. And it's almost, but he's still kind of like he's sitting on that big chair behind John, his legs sticking out. And the, the plate was in front of him this week, and he knows what's coming. He's got this smile on his face, and he just, you know, it's almost like you're going to Disneyland or something for him. And, and, um, but we're still kind of putting food on the table and just chatting a bit before we get to it. And uh, it's like, you know, come on, guys. You know? and, and so then we start, and his sister starts, and she goes, Brother, you're special because you're the best brother ever. And then it kind of goes around, I think his dad was sitting next to him, and then his grandmother, myself, and, and his mom, and, and he just loves that, you know. And um, this, this time of communion, uh, we, we remember that what God did for us in, in giving Christ, having Christ live a life without sin and then die in our place. It's God's very significant way of saying you're special. It was a, a way that said we were special in such a, in such a manner that it, that it frees us from having to end up in hell. It gives us a promise of heaven. I may sin still, but I don't have to be a slave to sin. And, and, and we need to remember. I need to remember. You know, we, we do things. We put things around us to make us feel special. I buy things to make myself feel special. I, I hang with certain people. I get married to feel special. And still, I don't always feel special. And so it's good that we, we uh, get to come in here at least once a week and have a time where God says, you are special. And so we pass those plates with bread and with cups of juice. Or, and God wanting you to know as you take and as you eat and as you drink, as you remember what Christ has done, that you are special. Father, thank you for the life of Christ. Thank you for the, the bondage of sin being broken. Thank you for knowing us so well that you knew we'd need a reminder and so we receive this gift from you today. And Father, where our hearts would not believe it, would it be the power of your Holy Spirit that helps it to ring true and gives us hope that you do not lie, you're good on your word, and you mean what you say. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. As you pass the trays, just receive them and just kind of picture you are special today. If you don't yet know Christ and don't feel you can take the tray, just pass it along, but the message is still true for you. You're special.
It's been one of the toughest weeks that I could remember in a long time, and I've spoken with many people this weekend who some of the first words out of their mouth were that they're experiencing spiritual warfare that they've not seen in quite a while. And as we talk and as we pray, uh, the consensus that keeps coming out in the prayer is that uh, good things are coming. If Satan is attacking, that means that good things are coming, and he doesn't want them uh, to happen. We've already sung our, our memory verse, Romans eight twenty eight, that God works all things together for our good. We've sung that Jesus reigns over all things in our lives, and we have hope in that. And we have one more song that we want to share with you that says, God makes beautiful things out of the dust that he makes beautiful things out of us. And I just encourage you to let the Spirit minister to you however, uh, however he may. If you want to stand and sing with us, if you want to sit and just listen, uh, just let this song minister. Out of the time 